Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Download the notes at kcm.org slash notes. Hey, George and I are back. (laughs) And we are talking today about developing a strong spirit. You know, everything in your life is affected by this. That's right. Everything. Your marriage, your children, your money, your family. Yep. So we're going to start with on uh, day 10. We're on day 10, and we're going to look at Proverbs 4, no, 18, 14 in 18, the Amplified 14. Bible. This That's is a right. key verse. The strong spirit of a man will sustain him. What does that mean? That means it'll hold him up. It'll keep him together. It'll, it'll see to it. Will sustain him in bodily pain or trouble. The strong spirit of a man. So, you know, trouble comes. Right. You need to keep your spirit right. strong so that whatever it is, if it's a financial thing, if it's a sickness, a disease, a family thing, your spirit is strong and ready to sustain you. What does that mean? It'll come to your aid. It'll build you up. Your strong spirit will put you over the top. It'll remind you of the Word. It'll tell you what God's Praise saying to God. you. Glory to God. Praise God. So Proverbs 14, 18, 14 says, The strong spirit of man will sustain him in bodily pain or trouble. That mm-hmm. covers everything. That's everything. But a weak and broken spirit who can raise up or bear. We, we can't let our spirits get weak or broken. Mm-hmm. How do you keep from doing that? You feed on the Word. That's right. You say the Word. You obey the Word. You be, you be Word-minded. Put it first place. I'll do it. I'll do what it says. I'll say it. And I won't say anything different. You say, well, yeah, but, you know, that's a lot. Well, victory's a lot. It's a lot great. <laughs> I mean, right. it's wonderful. You just have to make a decision. Is this... Is victory important to me? It is to me. Or shall I be lazy? Wow. The secret of our uh, future is hidden in our daily routine. That is a great way to say it, George. Blessed is the man. This is a quote from the scripture. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain the favor of the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time since I cultivated the habit of going to the Word every day. I read Word every day. I might not spend hours in it, but I spend time in it every day. Mm -hmm. An anointed daily routine produces glorious results. Galatians 6, 8, the New King James says, He who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. And he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap life. Now, who determines whether you're reaping corruption or reaping life? It just depends on what you plant. You (laughs) sow to life, you get life. You sow to corruption, (laughs) you get corruption. Now, that's just the way it is. It's so true. The Scripture says, whatever a man, whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Now, here's another truth. You can't get away from that. If you Mm. don't sow to the Spirit, Mm. you're not going to reap from the Spirit. Glory to God. So I'm sowing. I read the Word every day and I act on it. Mm -hmm. Do what it says. The more we daily sow to the Spirit, the stronger our spirits become. We confidently stand our ground, resist the enemy, and receive more from God. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's it. That's it. That's That's it. So what we're talking about today, we're talking about these seven habits of strong believers. This is what we do on a daily basis. These are the things that that become habitual in our life that we just, I mean, we do them every single day. day. We keep these in our hearts and our minds. It's our privilege and our honor and our joy. It is. And it produces. Yes. First thing before we hit the world. It builds a strong spirit on the inside. So here's what we're going to do. We have seven of these. And uh, I will take one. Gloria will take one. We'll just go back and forth on these. And you need to know that all of the outlines for this are available to you online, kcm.org. You can print them out. You can share them. You can teach them. Thank you, George, for sharing those. And we've had over 420,000 of these since we've we've started 190 broadcasts ago. People are interested in this. And we'd like to have this. testimonies about Please send us. What's, yes. the, what's happening. Yes, in send, us, send us testimonies about this so that we can read them on the broadcast. I've got, let me read a testimony really quick right here. Um, I was listening to Pastor George and Gloria 
Copeland teaching on supernatural provision. At the time, I was concerned about a substantial bill I had to pay. During the broadcast, Pastor George had a word that tomorrow about this time, someone's situation would be changed and that direction would come. The next day, I received direction about the payment of the bill and now the bill is paid Praise in God. full. That's victory. That's victory. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our, our Faith. faith. Hallelujah. So send us your victory yes, reports. Amen. So are you ready to hear seven habits of yeah. strong believers? Gloria, are we ready to do this? Yes, we are. Okay, here we go. Seven habits of strong believers. Number one, they feed their spirit by making a habit of reading God's Absolutely. word every day. Every day. Matthew 4, 4, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every, every word. word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And I like this in Matthew 6, 11, give us this day our daily bread. That's our daily, that's our daily word. Amen. And then I pulled this from your God's will for you book. Arrange your schedule around the word instead of trying to make the word fit into your that's busy schedule. That's what you have to do. Or you, you have to do that. You don't get the job done. So that's, that's the habit number one. They feed their spirit by making a habit of reading God's Word uh -huh. every day. Gloria, what's habit number two? Two is they build up their faith by listening to God's Word every day. Mm -hmm. Now, are you getting the key in this? Is every day. Every day. You every do day. these things. Build up your faith <laughs> by listening to the Word of God every day. Romans 10, 17 says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. You listen to the Word every day, and faith comes. It comes. There's not any question yep. about it. Faith comes every yes. day. You yes. listen every day. Faith comes every day. Proverbs 4, 20 through 22 says, My son, attend to my words. Give attention. Spend time in the Word. Incline, this is scripture now. Uh, let me start over. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh. How do you keep the word in your heart? Through your eyes and your ears. Mm -hmm. Through giving attention to the Word of God, you keep it in your heart. What happens when yeah. it's in your heart? <clears throat> it talks to you. It talks to you. Glory to Praise God. Praise God. Scriptures come up. You know, you get a, a pain or a sick, symptom of sickness and That's disease. That's right. That's right. And you know, I'm go. I attend to the Word. The Word is my medicine. God's Word is medicine Praise to my God. flesh. I mean, it's just Praise in there. God. It comes out. It's glorious. And it works. It works. It works. It Go miracles. to your second page there. There's one more part to that that okay. I want you to read. Romans 10, 17 <coughs> says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. If you don't have faith, it's not God's fault. It's not my fault. It's not George's fault. It's not your pastor's fault or your husband. You haven't been hearing and hearing by the word of mm. God. Somebody can't do this for you. Ken can't do this for me. If I don't do it and just he does it, he'll have faith, but I won't. But you, So I don't, I do it. I do it. You do it too. But you need to know something else. Doubt comes by hearing also. Makes a difference what your ears are doing. Yeah. What your eyes are doing. That's why Jesus said, be careful what you're hearing. Well, you know, there's a lot of churches <coughs> that are just popular places. This is where the people that, right. the end right. people go. Yeah. Well, if the end people go there, it's not all that important. But what you want when you go to church is the Word of God. That's right. You want a pastor that preaches you God's Praise Word God. and how to live free. So they build up their faith yep. by listening to God's Word every day. Number three, they strengthen and encourage themselves daily by, daily by speaking yeah, God's right. Word over their lives. Amen. In the scripture, Matthew 8, 8, it says, speak the Word over only. Mm -hmm. Speak the word only. Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Now this again, I got this from your book, God's Will for You. Put God's word in your heart and you will speak it with your mouth. That's right. God's word in your mouth will cause good things to happen in your life. Amen. Now this is a very important thing and I've included in the package, Gloria, with all of the notes, I've included several extra things that I believe is going to be a help. First of all, these are, and I'll give you your copies too, but these, these are all of the confessions that I made on that confession CD, the power That's confessions that we're offering, yeah. declaring who we are in Christ, what we have in Christ, 
what we can do in Christ. And all of these are all scripture confessions. So these are not only on the package that we're offering, but these are printed out so that you can confess them every day. For instance, and you can repeat this after me. I'm a new creation. I'm a new creation. Created in Christ Jesus. Created in Christ Jesus. I am the righteousness of God I in Christ. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. I am more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. Through him that loves me. Through him that loves me. And you keep feeding on this oh, and confessing man. the word of God. It's it going to change your life. And then the Hallelujah. other thing that I'm making available, Gloria, you asked me the other day, the daily confession that Terry and I make yeah, every good. day. Where is here that? it is. Okay. I've got it. And I'll give you. There? I'll give you your copy. Is it's not right there? All I've right. got it right here. I'll give it to you. It's also included. Well, is it working? It's working. <laughs> it's working. And this is. I'll just give you a little bit of it. This is what Terry and I say every day. We are expecting our greatest blessing yes. ever today because great grace That's is upon so us important. all. We have victory over death and we receive the manifestation of the love of God. Praise we declare God. the glory of the Lord over our lives and we just go through this and through this and through this and then we, we take, for instance, um, specific things like what we're believing for and what the church yeah. is believing for, what the ministry what is believing believe for, what we believe that we receive and we're declaring it out loud. So all of this has been made available to you with all of these notes. Praise so God. it's it's going to help you. That'll help so people. number three, we have they strengthen and encourage themselves daily by speaking yeah. God's word over their lives. Gloria, what's number four? Number four, they dominate and control their thought lives by filling their minds with God's Word. Yeah. That's called renewing your mind. Oh, that's good. That we renew our mind to think like God thinks instead of like man thinks. And it works. I mean, you say the right things. You do the right things. You hear from heaven. If you're, if you're hung up on doing what man says, you know, thinking natural sure. thoughts, you're sure. not going to go anywhere sure. spiritually. Glory to God. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, and whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. That's a very important scripture. Oh, that's Philippians important. 4 8. Second Corinthians uh, 10 5 says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into mm. captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. That's what does right. that mean? That means you've got to have a mind that already knows what God says. Yes. And when thoughts, situations, whether it comes from people, whether it's just a thought you have or or a trying situation or a dangerous situation, you say the what you say what the word says. Now to do that, you're gonna have to know what the yeah. word says because you yeah. won't have your Bible hanging around sure. your neck. Sure. So we feed on the word. Mm -hmm. We put it in our eyes and our ears. We read the same thing over and over and over again. Why? Because we want it fresh. We want it ready. If I need it today, I want That's it right. in there to come That's out. Right. Casting down <laughs> imaginations. And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought, every thought. to the obedience of Christ. Do you it. have a thought that says you're not going to get healed. You're going to die. This thing is terminal. You're going to die. Even if somebody tells you that, if a doctor says you're going to die, you say I'm healed in that, Jesus' that's right. name. That's right. Casting down imaginations, bringing every thought into captivity. You have a thought mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. crosses the Word of God that's opposite of what God says belong to you. What do you do? You say, I'm not taking that thought. Praise God. I mean, one of my kids, which one was it? I used, to, I think it might have been Kelly. Kelly, you clean up your room. <laughs> she I would say, that's, that's not, that's my, not thought. my thought. Well, this is the way it works. <laughs> it. This junk, this sickness, yes. this poverty, this trial, it's not my thought. I capture it Capture it, yeah. Cast it out. That's right. In Jesus. Name. That's right. Isaiah 26, 3 says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, 
That's where we are right now. That's where we want to stay. Thou wilt mm -hmm. keep him in perfect peace. But there's a caveat to that. Whose mind, mind is, is stayed, stayed on thee. That's right. So we're God-minded. We're scripture-minded. We Something happens. We, we don't think about anything first except God and what, what he says about That's right. it. That's you know, right. you get a symptom. Uh, you don't go call the doctor first. You think about, I've been healed by the stripes of Jesus. I'm not saying you don't go to the doctor but you don't go. That's not your first thought. Your first thought is that Jesus is my healer. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusts in thee. Isn't that a great scripture? That is, that's phenomenal. You give God your that's thought it. life. You think about what he says about the situation <laughs> in your life and every day spend time in the word and receive that word into your life and take it. You take it. You'll have perfect peace. I want to add two things to this section right okay. here that you, you mentioned. Um, number one, you talked about this being the renewing of the mind. So I'm adding Romans 12, 2. Okay. And it says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed yeah, by the right. renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The renewing of the That's mind. Right. <clears throat> we are not any longer natural thinkers. We've been renewed That's by right. the Word, and we think supernaturally. We think God is helping me. God's blessing me. I don't have to do this. That's I don't right. have to say there's a flu epidemic. I'm not having the flu. No, uh-uh. I've been redeemed from sickness <laughs> That's right. and disease. That's right. That's the way it works. Glory and the other God. thing I wanted to mention again was Joshua 1, 8, and this is also repeated in Psalm 1, 1 and 2, about meditating the Word. Yes, amen. That's how, that's how we fix our hearts on God and get stronger. Right. Um, again, Joshua 1, 8, the book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. But meditate, meditate on it, day, on and, it, and, day night. and night. Meditation, Brother Copeland. Is that just Sunday morning, George? No, no, that's I thought all not. the time. <laughs> that's all the time. Day and night. That's how you allow the Word of God to dominate that's your right. thinking, by meditating on the Word of God. Mm -hmm. And Brother Copeland said, <clears throat> that meditation in the Word of God enlarges your capacity for faith. Yeah, that's right. Brother Hagen says that the most spiritual people that he's ever met are people that spend time meditating the Word of God. Amen. And so <laughs> we'll add all of that to that section, but you got me going on that one, Gloria. That's, that's powerful. Number five, they establish, they anchor rather and establish their hearts by giving God yeah. continual praise and thanksgiving. Amen. Praise is the language of faith. Uh -huh. It's the language of receiving. It, oh, that's, if you believe you received it, it's the language you're going to be thanking God for it. If you're still trying to get it, then you're not going to be thanking God for it. That's right. It's the and language it does, of receiving. Whether it manifests yet or not, you've received it. Yes. It's coming. Yep. You don't quit. Glory to God. It says in Psalm 34, 1, I will bless the Lord at all times. All times. His praise shall continually mm -hmm. be in my mouth. That's awesome. In Psalm 8, 2, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast ordained strength because of thine enemies that you might still the enemy and the avenger. In Matthew 21, 16, Jesus said good. to them, have you never read, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast perfected praise. Do you see there the connection between praise and strength? Amen. Praise produces spiritual strength. There are times, Glory, when well, I'm... praise has believed it received. See, it's in oh, the that's, right place. That's, yeah. It's in position. Now you're praising. You believe you receive it. Now praise believes. Praise. Thank you, Lord. That Hallelujah. you received. You are, you you're giving me. God thanks for it. Yes, thank you, amen. Lord. Thank you for ministering that to me. Hallelujah. So that's one of the habits of strong believers is they spend a lot of time praising God, oh, yeah. thanking God for what well, He's already done. For what He's done. Okay, number six, Gloria. <clears throat> they edify themselves and, quote, charge their batteries, end quote, by praying much in other tongues. I mean, that's so important. Mm -hmm. There's so much power. It says we edify ourselves when we pray in tongues. You said, well, I don't know how. We'll go somewhere that teaches on receiving the Holy that's Spirit. Right. Receive the Holy Spirit and you will be able to Praise God. pray in tongues. And what happens when you do that is you pray above your head. You pray above what you know in the natural and you get where? In the Spirit. In the Spirit. Praying in the Spirit. <clears throat> in the Spirit. That's awesome. it, Gloria. Thank you, Jesus. What does Jude 20 say? Jude 20 says praying always, doesn't it? That one. 
uh, you beloved, yeah. building up yourselves on your most holy faith. This is how you get strong and stronger and stronger on your most holy faith, praying in the oh, Holy, holy Ghost. Ghost. That's uh, 1 Corinthians 14, Praise 4 and 2, 20. Go it's to that next page and there's a paragraph up there from Brother So we Hagen. could paraphrase, <coughs> paraphrase 1 Corinthians 14, 4 like this. Quote, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifies himself, builds himself up, or charges himself up like a battery. In other words, as we pray in tongues, we are charging up our spirits by the power of the Holy Spirit. That's from Brother Hagin's book, Kenneth Hagin's book. Right. Uh, name tongues beyond the upper room. So we are praying. When you pray in the Spirit, you get baptized in the Holy Spirit. When you do that, you're at you. You have the ability, and you pray in tongues normally when you get when you first do get baptized in the right. Holy Spirit. And then you continue. And what it enables you to do is pray beyond your noodle. <clears throat> <laughs> you get out in the Pray above what you know in the natural and you're <clears throat> praying what God says. That's right. In the spirit, in That's other right. tongues. Glory to God. So powerful and so Praise important. God. Number seven, they become streamlined by getting rid of the excess baggage. Yeah. Hebrews 12, 1, wherefore seeing we're also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let Let's us lay, lay aside, aside every weight and the That's sin right. which so easily besets us. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Amen. It is possible to accomplish more spiritually by shaving off all the unnecessary things. You don't need more power. You need to get rid of the drain the hindrances yeah, and excess right. weight. And Gloria, I'm going to do something that you gave me an assignment last week and I've got 30 seconds to Go do ahead. it. You said repeat the seven benefits of a strong spirit. Okay. One, a strong spirit will get you through anything. Yes. Two, a strong spirit will help you receive from God. Yes. Three, a strong spirit will help you hold on to what you receive. Four, a strong spirit will help you resist the devil and temptation. Five, a strong spirit will help you help others. Six, a strong spirit will help you withstand the impact and pressure of life. And number seven, a strong spirit will build a protective barrier around your heart. You Hallelujah. are strong yeah. in the Lord I'm and strong. in the power of his might. Hallelujah. Praise God, Glory Gloria. God. We did it. Way to go, George. Way to go, George. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. George and I'll be right back. We hope you enjoyed this teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Download the notes at kcm.org slash notes.